Hey guys, I'm here with my empties video for the month of June. I have quite a bit of stuff here for the month of June, so I'll go ahead and get started here. I start off with the candles first. We have this one here. This one is Goose Creek's, uh, what is this, Moroccan Waters. This is from the Passport to Paradise collection. This was from uh, our subscriber, Jean. She sent this whole collection to me. There were six of them all together. So I've been burning through quite a bit of these. This one here was in the three wick tumbler. This was a nice uh, watery aquatic kind of a scent. Just your typical kind of a watery, um, you know, just that fresh kind of uh, watery type of candle. I really liked it and it was, uh, it this one through pretty good. I had really good luck with most of these. They uh, wasn't super strong, but I'd probably say a good, good strong medium throw on these. It did really well. And the next we have Bath and Body Works Brazilian Blue Waters. This was another one from our subscriber, Jean. I have to shout out Jean every time she gives us a candle because she's been so kind to us, sending us all kind of candles. So this one here is, <clears throat> I think this one came out last year, I believe. This one is another aquatic scent, very similar to the Moroccan Waters. This one here, did really good too. Um, I had it, I think, in the bathroom and then I had it out in the living room. But uh, it did pretty good. Threw pretty good. Nice medium throw. Next, we have another Bath and Body Works, courtesy of Je uh, Jean. Rio Red Guava from that same collection. This one was just a nice fruity. Um, I think it had like passion fruit and mango. Um, it was nice. It wasn't really strong, though. I remember this one wasn't very strong. Um, I struggled to smell this one. Um, so, yeah. That was just okay, but not real strong. And then we have another Goose Creek Passport to Paradise collection from Jean. This one is Citrus of Kauau. And this one is just like a coconut, like a fruity coconut, beachy scent. It was nice, and it had a nice medium throw as well. Next we have Rainbow's End from Yankee Candle. This is one I just picked up um, at the SDS cell a few weeks back, a month ago or so. This one was pretty light for the most part. I smelled it at first when I first lit it. I actually think I posted on Facebook in Norma's group that it was really good and I was really getting a good throw. But then after that first burn, it was pretty light the rest of the way. And I burned it probably about right about here, where that line is, you can see. And I still didn't get much of a throw. I even put it in Marco's bedroom, our oldest, our oldest, I want to say foster son. He's not a foster son anymore. He's our oldest son. We put it in his bedroom because I usually get really good throws in there, like I've said before. But it was pretty light in there, too. I couldn't smell very well in there. So into the candle crock it went. And it did pretty well in there. I smelled it much better than I did before, um, except for at the beginning, I could smell really good. And then the candle crock, it did really, really well. So I was happy with that. And it lasted probably up to a week in the candle crock, I think. You know, it got a little bit lighter here and there, but I, I kept it in there for almost a week before I finally took it out. It had like, like a nice, um, this is another fresh kind of scent. Fresh kind of, uh, very earthy, kind of like a almost kind of like a rain watery kind of scent yeah but um so after i put in the candle crock and then after it lost the scent completely i really couldn't smell anything anymore i just took it out and then i don't know how you all do it but i just take it out and pour the all the wax into the trash can and then i just put the lid on that way i don't have all the wax in there still because i usually recycle these in the glass recycling so comment below if you have a candle crock, what do you do with your wax after you put it in the candle crock? Do you pour it out or what do you do? I just pour mine out. Next we have another one that I bought the same time at the SCS cell. This is one that I tried to get last year and I could not find it, but I found it this year so I jumped on it and this is carrot cake. I was super excited about this one. This one here, I liked it it was about a medium throw, a light to medium throw. I smelled it off and on. Sometimes it was better than others. Um, but then 
towards the half part, it wasn't throwing quite as well as I wanted it to. I was smelling it, but I'm like, I want to smell it more. So, um, and I had troubles with the burn. I had to foil it quite a bit to get it to pull out all the way. I struggled a lot with the burn on this thing. So then I'm like, I was smelling it still. It was a medium throw, but it wasn't pulling out right. So I'm like, I'm just going to throw in the candle crock and see if I smell that better. And it did really good in the candle crock as well. It it was really nice in here, really good. Um, this one, the wax is breaking off. The wax got hard around here where I poured it off and it's breaking off when I take this off. It was, uh, on cold sniff it was more stronger than the cinnamon, but when you burned it you really got more of those different kind of nutmeggy spices and things like that. A little bit of um, the cream cheese kind of too. Really nice, uh, spicy, um, very fall like this would be good in the fall as well um, but yeah it was really nice I do wish it would have been a little bit more stronger when I was burning it but it did really good in the crock so that was good that it actually threw better when I put it in there I would get that one again it was nice and then we have another Yankee candle this is Yankee candle peeps marshmallow chicks I had this one last year that I bought the SAS for seven dollars and I finished it off this year um, this one kind of struggle with the burn as well. It wouldn't pull out very well. Um, the throw was a medium throw. I smelled it. It was kind of like carrot cake. It had a medium throw. I could smell it, but it wasn't super strong. But the burn wasn't very good. It was a lot like carrot cake as far as the burn and the, the throw went. So I threw this one in the crock, and this one was super, super strong in the crock. This one did incredible in the crock. If you have this one and you have like a medium throw, but you want to smell it even stronger, throw it in your crock because this one does amazing in the crock. This was super, super strong on the crock. It, this one is just a really good uh, marshmallowy, of vanilla, creamy, just really nice. Yeah, it just has like a creamy vanilla marshmallowy kind of a scent to it. Um, yeah, like I said, really good in the candle crock. So I would definitely get that again, and if I couldn't smell it, throw it in the crock and it would be a win situation. So. Let's see, next we'll do this one here. This is Bath and Body Works. This one here is, I'll take the dust cover out, Honolulu Sun. This is, came in the pretty little glass jar that has the little leaves etched into the glass there, or not leaves, the like palms or whatever. This was really pretty when it burned because it had the glass and it really, um, you could really see the flames flicker in there through the glass and the palms etched, etched on it there. This one was really, really good. I really enjoyed this one. This one burned flawlessly. It burned so good all the way down to the complete bottom. I never had any Puniwick syndrome at all. And I'm thinking it's because it's this thicker glass. These ones retail for $24.50 instead of $22.50. The ones with a thicker glass like this. I know they've had some different ones. I've had colored glass and um, um, different kinds that don't have any labels on them. Um, but they're thicker glass when they're like that for $24.50. So I think it's because they're thicker glass that they're just like holding the heat in there more because all the ones I think I've only had like two or three of the ones with the thicker glass that are 2450 but all the ones I've had have burned really good they haven't got puny wicks at all I'm thinking it's because like I said I think it gets hotter it holds the heat in there better because the glass is thicker so if that's the case I think they should make all their candles with this thicker glass they could put the labels on them still but just make them with this thicker glass that way you won't have the puny wick syndrome and I would even be willing to pay two more dollars. Even though these, when they're go on sale, are included in the two for 24, even though they're regular 2450, they still include them in the two for 24. So if they're gonna do that, why not make them all in this thicker glass? Of course, they probably have to raise the prices because it'll cost more to make them with this thicker glass, probably. But yeah, they do really good. And this one was a really good throw as well. This one's through really, really strong. It was throwing super strong in the bedroom. It was so good. It's just a really good coconut fresh coconut beachy um smell like like a suntan lotion not like copper tone suntan lotion but like like hawaiian tropic banana boat or something like that something with more coconut yeah it was really good i liked it that's one of my uh favorite uh coconut scents next we have crossroads s'mores this one is really good i've had this this is my second one i've had and this was from Jean as well this one, so good. It's a really good chocolatey, uh, 
you get a little bit of that graham cracker note in there and a little bit of that marshmallow creaminess in there as well. It's really good. This one is, um, the chocolate is a little more different. It can be kind of candy-like, maybe a little like, a, it's not quite as like pure authentic like chocolate, like chocolate layer cake from Yankee Candle. It's a little more different, but it's definitely chocolatey. But I like all chocolate candles. I don't care even if they smell a little different, if they're kind of candy-like. I mean, it smells kind of like a chocolate candy bar, but as opposed to like cake or something like that, but it was really good. I liked it a lot and super, super strong. Really good thrower. Let's see. Next we have another one in Goose Creek's Passport to Paradise collection from Jean. This one is Midnight London. This one was really good. This one was super strong. This is just like a... Uh, cologne bergamot you get like a bergamot cologne type of scent really good super super strong i love that one a lot and then the last candle i have is one i got at sas when i picked up uh i think when i went and got my six for 60 the six tumblers i got for 60 dollars. i also used a coupon for a free tumbler of the new candles ball candles i got this one here this one is candied pecans this one was not very good i couldn't smell it at all it was really light i mean i could smell it but it was really super light it wasn't unscented completely but it was just so light it was just not really that great because it was so light i even put it in marco's room couldn't smell it in there ended up putting it into the candle crock and i still couldn't even smell in the candle crock it was just i could barely i mean i got little light whiffs of it but not in anything that was really worth it getting again or anything i wouldn't really recommend it unless all candles are different though that was my experience you may get it and may have a good throw because it just all depends on i really think it all depends on how many oils they get in there some candles throw good some can't the same candle can be different depending on which one you get but mine wasn't that great Could, couldn't really smell it that great i don't think i would get it again because of that but i did like the scent i just couldn't really smell it it was a nice candied uh, pecan with a little bit, you can smell a little bit of nuttiness in there. All right, next we will go over the wax melts real quick here. First I have, I have a few here from Lake Providence Lodge. They're a vendor wax company. I'll just go through these real quick. Um, this was, I ordered from them a month or two ago. This one was in the scent Strawberry Rhubarb. This one was nice. It was strawberry with a little bit of that rhubarb note. It had kind of a green scent to it. Uh, kind of like strawberry rhubarb marmalade from Bath and Body Works was, but it wasn't quite as good as that because I love that candle. But this had that similar kind of a strawberry mixed with like a green kind of a uh, a green plant kind of note. It was good. I liked it. Rainbow sherbet. This one. This one was okay. It's very citrusy, fruity. Um, it was nice. The Grove. This one. Was similar to that one it's very uh, citrusy fruity it was nice as well that was pretty strong we have cake shop this one this one did okay it was kind of a spicy kind of a cake scent sweet spicy cake scent um, it wasn't super strong though so I wouldn't get that one again and then we have cotton candy this one was really light it smells good on cold sniff just a really good cotton candy scent kind of reminds me of happy Easter uh, from Bath and Body Works. Um, but I've used it in my centerpiece and I don't think you should use vendor wax in centerpiece because I don't think the, it is, they, vendor wax I think needs, I've heard hat needs a really, um, certain kind of wattage. I heard the glade warmers are really good because they're, I always forget this, is it the lower wattage or higher wattage you want with them? I think it's not too low, but kind of high. I don't know. I always forget, but I know that they, everybody says Glade warmers do really good in Bender Wax, so I'm going to have to get a Glade warmer. I use my Yankee warmer, electric warmer, and they do pretty good in there, but they don't do good in the centerpiece because it's, the centerpiece I think is too low. They don't do good in there though. So next we have some wax melts from Walmart. We have Better Homes and Gardens, Hawaiian Pineapple Cilantro. This one was okay. Pineapple-y, um, it was nice but it kind of was a little bit too much after a while it was very pineapple-y very citrusy it was like kind of strong but almost too strong because after a while i was kind of tired of it i didn't 
I kind of was ready for it to be done. And that doesn't happen very much with me, but I, that was a little bit too much for me. So I wouldn't get that one again. This one is Brookside Candle uh, Frosted Cookies. This one couldn't smell it at all. Next we have Sensationals Tea Time. This one is really good. I love this one. Ugh, this one's really, really good. This is one of my favorites in a long time that I've melted. Yes, it's, it doesn't really have a tea note necessarily, but it has like... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of, it's, I don't, this is really hard to describe this one. It's not really a tea note. It's almost kind of perfumey, cologne fresh, kind of. I don't know. It's just really good. It says sit back and relax. It doesn't really have any set notes, but it doesn't smell like tea, like I said. Just, just good. It was just good. That's all I want to say. Go pick it up. I think you'd like it, if you find it. Next we have Sensational's Pink Velvet. This one was good. It's a, just a real sugary sweet kind of smell. It reminds me a lot of uh, Goose Creek's Confetti Cake. Very similar to that. Kind of a fruity pebbles, kind of a sugary smell. I liked it a lot. It did through really well, so I was happy with that one. I would get that one again. Then we have Sensational's Love Letters. This one was really light. I love it on cold sniff. It's got a cedarwood vanilla kind of smell, but it wasn't very strong. I, I had trouble smelling it when I burned it. It was really light for me, so I was kind of disappointed with that. And then we have Goose Creek's A Day in the Sun. I just purchased this uh, a few weeks ago, and this one was really nice. This one, very similar to uh, Sun Tan from Bath and Body, or yeah, Bath and Body Works, and uh, Sun and Sand from Yankee Candle. Just a copper tony beachy kind of scent. And it did through really good too. I used it in my centerpiece and it threw well. And it did well in the uh, Yankee electric warmer as well. Then we have a Yankee Candle centerpiece melt cup. This was Meadow Showers. This one was really good. This is my second one I've had of this one. This is a really good fresh aquatic, rainy, watery, fresh, really fresh. Almost smells like kind of like a laundry detergent kind of. It was really nice and it was really, really strong. It lasted for quite a while. Then we have a few wallflowers. I'll just go over these real quick. I have coconut sandalwood. This one is the second one I've had um, recently. I had another one a few months back and I decided to get another one. This one wasn't quite as strong as the first one I had a few months back. It was nice still, but just not quite as strong as the first one I'd had. And then this one is blue ocean waves. I have this one in the hallway bathroom right now. Um, I can't smell it right now. For a while there, it was okay. It was I was smelling it off and on here and there, but um, now it's kind of dudded out. I can't smell it at all. So I wouldn't get that one again. I wouldn't get that one again. This one is suntan. This one was super, super strong. It did really good. It's it's gotten a lot lighter now. It's a little less than half done now in, in the master bath in there. It's definitely died down quite a bit. It was really strong at first, and I loved it. So I'll just like the candle, but it's died off quite a bit. So that's kind of sad. But I would probably get it again just because it was so good at the first half. And then we have some hand soaps. This is the last part of it. This is my hand soaps. I'll go over those real quick. We have sunshine and lemons. This one was just really good. Um, lemony, citrusy, lemony scent. It was nice. We have watermelon lemonade. That's just your typical watermelon lemonade. It was good. We have strawberry vanilla sugar. This one was okay. I didn't like it as well as strawberry vanilla, but it was all right. I, when I did the haul, I thought it had kind of a funky note to it, but it wasn't as bad when I used it. It was all right. And we have Topaz Waters. This one was kind of a um, watery, I think, what did it have in here? What does it say? Fresh moss, light musk. Yeah, kind of a watery, musky kind of scent. It was pretty good. Then we have Gardenia and Spring Rain. This one was nice. I remember this one was really nice. Just a nice, fresh, watery, kind of a florally gardenia scent. It was nice. Endless Weekend. This one is nice, like the candle. Just a real good, uh, kind of watery, fresh. What is in uh, this one? Sometimes I can't remember all the notes. Blue Waters and Sparkling Citrus. Yeah, I thought it was watery, citrusy. It was nice, but sometimes I get 
I can only do Endless Weekend so much, then I get kind of tired of it. It was okay, and then after so far, I kind of got tired of that soap, but... Next we have Nectarine Sun Tea. This is the last one. Nectarine Sun Tea. This one was really good. I liked it a lot. I got it in the foam, or the uh, deep cleansing because they didn't have the foaming. I ordered it online, I think, yes. But they sent me this one. I don't know why. I don't know if I put down the wrong thing or what. But this one was a really good mixture of like nectarines and tea. Yeah, you like a nectarine smell with like a little bit of a tea note in there. It was really, really nice. I liked it. So that is it for my empties for the month of June. So thank you for watching. I've already started into some of my fall candles because I did a fall haul last week of some Bath & Body Works candles. So I've already started with some of them, but I'm still finishing up my summer candles. But I would like to do some reviews of some of the new fall candles. So I want to go ahead and start burning some of them so I can do some reviews for everybody so you can see if maybe you want to buy them or not. So stay tuned for those and stay tuned for my next empties video to see how those go and finish out after I do the reviews. I try to do the reviews like at least halfway through and then um, I'll always say to stay tuned to the empties video to see how it finished out. So, all right, so thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.